guys it's Taisha welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel so in today's video as you can see by the title we are going to be doing a recreate with me episode five so I recently just did actually which is really funny a Chloe Chloe is like her stage name but Chloe Bailey um recreation but she just be like giving like she really be giving what she's supposed to give so she recently posted this makeup look on her instagram and the makeup artist is the scott edit um i had to go through a few different pages to figure out who it is but anyways yeah he is the makeup artist so basically i'm just going to be recreating this picture right here i'm really excited because i just love everything about it i feel like it just gives a very natural like nude like natural look on the eye but still like pretty and like a cut crease but then that little like silver like mm, it just gives so much life so anyways yeah like i said and like you can see by the title we are going to be recreating this makeup look so if you guys want to see that then just keep on watching okay so if you guys are like used to my videos my makeup you guys notice probably that i usually will come on camera with my eyebrows already done but they're not done because I kind of want to do them how she did them so they are basically just like if you zoom in you can see that they're kind of like on the fluffy side and filled in a little bit so I am going to be doing a soap brow today by the way if it sounds different um let me know how you guys think I got a new microphone and everything so I'm just trying that out so I'm really excited about that that's kind of why this video is late that's why there wasn't a video on Friday because I wanted to wait until I got all my stuff um not only did i get a microphone i got a little like remote thing for my focus so hopefully the focus is better um i also got another battery so i just got a bunch of things online and i wanted to wait till everything came in so we can just do like a good video with all my new things and all that stuff so anyways um yeah we're going to be doing a soap brow so i'm gonna take this pears soap and i'm gonna spray it and i'm gonna take a brow spoolie and i'm just gonna like <laughs> and then i'm just going to brush up my brows to give them like that very fluffy effect Okay, now that I did that, I'm just going to take this NYX Modern Dreamer palette and I'm going to take this brown in the palette. It kind of looks better on camera, but it's definitely brown. You can take whatever like shade that you want, but her eyebrows are kind of on like the uh, warm brown side. So I'm just going to take that and very lightly fill in my brows. Okay, and now I'm just gonna remove like the soap that's around my brows because if I don't when I put the concealer down it'll be like a weird like it'll just create this weird like effect <laughs> okay and now I'm gonna take this NYX concealer in the shade CJ05 and I'm gonna conceal my brows and kind of try to make them more of the way that her shape is um so yeah I'm trying to make my eyebrows like as thin as possible. I kind of have pretty thick eyebrows I feel like sometimes. So I'm trying to like make them thinner because her eyebrows are kind of thin in the picture. So I'm just like concealing them as much as I can to make them thinner. <laughs> okay, I think I did as good as I can on making my eyebrows as thin as possible. You guys probably know when you have like not that my eyebrows are super super thick but you can only conceal them to be thin so much until it starts like getting on the hairs and just looking super weird so this is the brows right now so now let's move on to the very important part which is eyes so i'm gonna prime my eyes with this makeup revolution concealing define infinite concealer you guys know i love 
if you watch my videos you guys know i love this concealer for priming my eyes i just think it's so good it's really inexpensive and i feel like for priming anyways i like it on the face as well i use it on my face too but for priming eyes wise i feel like it's a good dupe for tart shape tape Recently, I've been taking like a big flat brush and just patting everything because with my sponges, I don't really have one small enough to really get into the crease. And sometimes it like leaves lines from where the beauty blender is. So I just try to get in there. All right, so as you guys can see, the eye look is kind of a very neutral bead so it's kind of like a cut crease but the browns are very close to her skin tone and stuff so actually the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm gonna take i'm gonna take a skin tone color eyeshadow so the one that i have is just in this little palette and i'm just gonna take it and go under my brow with it just so it kind of matches my skin better and this also is gonna give a very blended out look because this is basically working as a transition shade i tend to go overboard when i'm doing eyeshadow so i'm really gonna try to stay on the neutral side like hers is like very light on the cookies like like i said i tend to go overboard but we're gonna try it today okay so now that that's there we're gonna take the nyx modern dreamer palette again and we're gonna take this shade to the fourth shade on the top row and we're gonna take that and blend it into the eye really focusing on like the inner corner of the eye we're also gonna blend it out here in the pictures you can't really see her outer eye that much but let's just assume that <laughs> there's eyeshadow there as well And I'm really going to focus it on kind of where my nose. So, like, I don't know how to explain it. But on my eye, the it's not, like, the crease. But you guys see where, like, right here where that, like, very line is, like, from the nose right there. I'm going to kind of blend it using that as kind of, like, an outline. And I'm pretty sure... This is the only color that I'm going to be using because if I take another color, I feel like it's going to get darker and darker and it's not going to look similar to hers. I feel like mine is a little bit more orangey reddish undertone than hers, but that's fine. All right, so now I'm going to take the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 20 and I'm going to cut my crease with it. And like I kind of said before with the eyeshadow, I'm going to use that crease as the outline for the cut crease i'm very bad at explaining things so i hope that this is making sense i'm also only gonna go like halfway on the lid because in hers like i said you can't really see the outer part of her eye but i kind of see where this stops and it's very like more towards the middle now i'm gonna set this with some banana powder okay so I did that so now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna take that same shade that we used for the crease and everything and just blend out the cut crease a little bit more the last thing that I'm going to do before I go off camera to do like my foundation um, I'm gonna take some white shadow and put it in the inner corner part of it just to make it more lighter Ew. and it doesn't look like she has any 
eyeliner or anything i'm just gonna do a very light one like a very small one on my like lash line just so it will conceal the lashes i'm gonna put on a big lash so you really won't even be able to see it but if i don't then it'll look crazy so i'm gonna do that and then her her face makeup really just kind of like i mean it's fire it kind of reminds me of like how i usually do my face makeup except obviously better um but i'm gonna do my face makeup like how i regularly do it maybe add a little bit more brightness under my eye right here and on my nose and forehead um but yeah we're gonna do my foundation and stuff first before i put on like the crystals and stuff because i feel like it just messes it up if i do that after so i'm gonna do that and then I'll come back and then we'll finish up the eye and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, I did my foundation. I was kind of, like, looking at her picture and trying to, like, do my bronzer and stuff in accordance with hers. And honestly, I think this looks so, so good. Especially, like, with the eye. And, it, like, her face is, like, really matte except, like, on her nose. And I literally love everything about this foundation routine. I love it. So, now we're going to do the under eye. So, basically, what we're going to do is I'm going to take the m506 with that same color that we were using on the top and we're basically just gonna blend it under the eye you guys probably could have guessed that okay and something else that's a little bit different because it doesn't seem like there's any like eyeliner or anything at the top the outer half of the bottom lash line is a little bit like smoky so i'm just gonna take this flat bh cosmetics brush and i'm gonna take like a dark brown and i'm gonna put it on the outer part of the lower lash line So now we're gonna do the little silver thing on the top. So I actually didn't have these stickers, but my sister has like a Cricut machine and she's really into like cricketing, obviously, and like vinyls and stuff. So she had this silver vinyl that I just cut into the shape of it and I'm gonna put it down with like lash glue. So I thought that was like the best way to go about it. I just tried to find the vinyl that looked the most like it and I feel like that looks exactly like it. So. We're just going to take that. I'm basically just going to do like dots of glue on where I want the like the start of it, the middle high part and the end. Okay, now we're going to do the other eye, trying my hardest to make it even. And then also she has some crystals on her lower lash line, like four. So I got my handy dandy crystals and I'm going to put some on my lower lash line. This is so cute, guys. Like I literally, I can't even like, it's so cute. Like, I mean, obviously on her, I thought it was cute. That's why I redid it. But like... <laughs> So, ah, this is so cute. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do lips first and then I'll go off camera and put on a lash so you guys can see like the finished look and everything. So first, I actually got some new makeup that I'm going to be showing you guys in my next video. So act like you didn't see this, but I have this brown Makeup Revolution lip liner that I'm going to use really quickly to line my lips because hers, she has like a brown lip liner and then it kind of looks like in the middle she either has a little bit of pink or like her lips are just naturally that pink and then she has a gloss on so i'm gonna put the gloss on after just so it doesn't like ruin the lip liner or anything but like i said this look is looking so cute right now like my face like the foundation routine and the eye look is so cute so now i'm gonna go off camera and put on a lash like a wispy lash i'm pretty sure i'm going to be using these lashes which i got on amazon i will link below and i'm going to be using a wispy pair because she has on wispy lashes so i'm just gonna go off camera put on a lash and then when we come back everything will be all done and look at everything see the finished results and all that good stuff once i put on a lash which i'm really excited about so i will see you guys in 
a second <laughs> okay guys so this is the finished look of the recreating a chloe x i'm gonna just call it a chloe x the scott edit makeup look i think this looks so cute obviously it's not as good as hers looks she is just fire like the way that she she's just fire and also his makeup skills are like out of this world so this is kind of just like a dumbed down beginner version of that beautiful scott edit makeup look and i am so in love with this like everything about this look just comes together so perfectly like the matte skin they the like silver thing on the eye the crystals under like i feel like it is a perfect makeup look if you ask me this is a fire the scott edit you really did that <laughs> so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe turn on my post notifications to be notified every time that i upload if you want to keep up with me when i'm not posting on youtube you can follow me on all my other social medias all that good stuff is on the screen right here it'll also be in the description box down below um so yeah this was so fun obviously um if you guys see by the title or like i said in the beginning this is episode five i have this series on this channel where i just recreate celebrity makeup looks um so if you guys want to see my other recreations you can also look at those it'll be in the link down below also somewhere on the eye on the screen or whatever but i definitely recommend doing this look because it just makes you feel really pretty like the skin like can you guys like like you really can't tell me anything right now like i'm really sorry about it <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i hope i will see you guys in my next video bye i'll do a close-up for you guys because it actually is fire just give me one second period uh. <laughs>